A lot of people are saying, E, I'm scared. What if I do it and I fail? E, I'm scared, E. E, I want to do it. I got gifted. I'm gifted. I'm talented. I know I can write that song. I know I can produce that album. I know I can do that CD. I know I can write a book. I know I can get that degree, but I'm scared. So I'm telling you in life, you start running from a class, you start running from a subject that you don't like, it will haunt you for the rest of your natural life. It ain't going nowhere. But if you go after the fight, if you approach the challenge, you have a much ch better chance of winning. This is the fight of your life, baby. Are you hearing me? This is the fight of your life. This is the fight of your life. And listen to me, if you're going to win the fight of your life, you can't be afraid to fight. All right, some things don't come. They just not gonna come to you because you want it as bad as you want to breathe. After you want it as bad as you, you gotta put up the dupes, baby. And you gotta be willing to fight that thing out. Are you hearing me? Fear, you are not gonna stop me. I'm not listening to that voice. I'm not listening to fear. I'm gonna move by faith. I've come too far to give up now. You got greatness all inside of you. You got greatness all inside of you. But your problem is you a scaredy cat. You saw. And every time it get hard, you quit and you give up. And I'm telling you, if you would be willing to fight your way through it, if you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, Fight your way through boxing. Fight your way through football. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Fight your way through it. You got to fight the fear because guess what? Fear ain't bigger than you. There's greatness in you. Are you hearing me? There's greatness in you. And you mean to tell me you're never going to reach your full potential? You mean to tell me you're never going to be what you've been called to be? That you're not going to do what you've been called to do because you are afraid? Listen to me. The boogeyman ain't real. And so I need you to, I need you to understand that you can have it. For real, you can have it. But it's going to be a fight. And if you're willing to put up the fight, I'm telling you at the end of the fight, there's going to come victory. You've gotten this far. If you was going to quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You've come too far to quit now. You need to get a reward for it. That's why I'm trying to tell you, never stop. Never give up. Never give in. Your boy was a high school dropout. Your boy was homeless. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I slept in abandoned buildings, baby. You say, how did you get here, E? Because one day I got up and stopped being a victim and I was a victor. Are you hearing me? And I took that one class and that one class turned into two classes and I got my GED. And then I went to college and yep, I told you it took 12 years, but what did I do? I never stopped fighting. It got harder and it got harder and it seemed the further I climbed, the harder it got. But I didn't stop, I didn't quit. I just kept fighting and fighting and then I got to the masters and it was harder than the four year and it was harder than the GED but what did I do I got here not because I'm the strongest not because I'm the fastest not because I'm the best but I kept fighting and fighting and fighting your boy got through the masters now we at the end of the PhD baby oh uh, you're not hearing what I'm saying now we got the dissertation and I ain't no writer and I ain't no intelligent dude and I ain't no scholar then you say how you gonna get the PhD because I keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and what I what I will not do is I will not quit and when that thing tells you to quit you look at it in his eye and say I ain't going nowhere I will break you before you break me you will not defeat me you will not destroy me lay hold of it some of you are so ignorant you've been through so much hell you gonna quit now you should have quit 10 years ago when you got raped. You should have quit 10 years ago when he walked out on you. You should have been quit. You don't quit now. It's the 10th round. You got two more to go. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. It's about stamina. It's about you won't break me. You can't take me. I fought too long. I fought too hard. If I was going to quit saying, you should have got me a 17 on. 
You should have broke me when I was eating out of the trash can. It's too late now. I'm in the rich carpet. It's too late now.